Good morning, world. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome to Thursday. It is uh, Thursday, it is Portrait Day in the Pink with Pete studios. My name is Pink with Pete. Welcome to my studio. Um, so today, as ever, on Thursdays, we're going to draw a famous face, a uh, celebrity, if you will. Um, I'm just going to go good. Um, so we've done quite a few in the past, you know, we've got a good, um, I haven't even counted them, it's a lot. Uh, I think it's about eight or nine different portraits of different celebrities or famous faces. Uh, we started with Donald Trump, we've done Jim Carrey, we've done Jonah Hill, we've done Keanu Reeves, we've done Healy Lamar for last week's uh, International Women's Day. Thank you to Mrs. Barton for the amazing shout out and uh, the information on Healy Lamar. I needed to know that stuff. Um, I'm all about representing strong women and strong people across the world, but especially last week, as it should be every single day, uh, we celebrated International Women's Day and my mum's and sister's birthday all on the same day. Um, so we drew Healy Lamar last week. Um, I have a list of all the celebrities that people have been uh, suggesting over the past couple of weeks. Thank you very much. I keep it in my uh, tiny little attaché case, regardé. So they're all going in the, uh, the drawing hat. I normally start with my drawing hat on. Uh, loads of different names in here. Who have we got? I'm just going to randomise. Uh, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Weirdly, he's in there. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, there's a Dre. We've got Malin Hughes has suggested himself from the first week. Billy Connolly. Who else is in there? There's loads of different people. Who else? Keanu Reeves. What? I must have written him down twice. What an idiot. Okay, cool. Uh, Quentin Tarantino. Great shout. Who else is in here? Rowan Atkinson. Perfect shout. I have um, pictures of these. So I've obviously read the uh, suggestions and stuff. They're all in here. I uh, read all the suggestions and got a couple of pictures um, for drawing. So we're going to pick those in a second. I'm just going to sort my Mac out and get some tunes on, as always. There we go. Okay. Uh, and so uh, take a minute or two minutes just to set yourself up um, a space in your flat house, garden, shed, whatever you want. I just have two pieces of paper today, much like yesterday. Uh, so yesterday we drew a couple of uh, lyric posters. I took some lyrics from uh, one of my tunes uh, under the guise of Dead Kings. So that's my hip hop crew. Uh, please follow us, Dead Kings Hip Hop Across Everything. You'll see some stuff very soon. Uh, and then we took a Bob Marley lyric, um, Don't Worry Be Happy, very positive message that I think is uh, you know much needed um, for you know the current climate and also that kind of the uh, the prospect and the optimism that comes with knowing that uh, lockdown is going to be relieved hopefully very soon or soon <laughs> should i say uh, let's just get you guys sorted there we go da, 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 da. good morning good morning keanu reeves wants his moment again uh okay <laughs> yeah good uh good morning everyone mr e mr ed hansen uh, Mrs. Barton, everybody who's uh, drawing and repping the paint with peas. Thanks so much for the donations for the uh, Kofi.com forward slash paint with Pete. So this is how you can donate towards the uh, paint with Pete specifically. If you want to rep obsolete um, in general, it's houseobsolete.bigcartel.com. Uh, my social media is Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats MCR on Facebook. Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats on Instagram. I am snob underscore Ross, snob Ross with the dollar signs. Um, on Twitter, and I'm obviously formats on YouTube. If you need to, you know, have a look back at what we've done, um, which <laughs> have a look back on uh, the year of Paint with Pete. So we are almost coming up to the year anniversary of the very first show. I know I haven't done one every single day for uh, every weekday in a year. Obviously, I've had jobs and stuff last year as well. Shouts to uh, Mr. Michael Wood and Skybar. Um, but obviously, you know, a year is definitely worth celebrating. It's a little bit depressing. Um, only because of the reasons why it's been going on for a year. But again, overall that is a celebration, like every day in the Paint With Peace, we're celebrating ourselves, celebrating these things, our imagination and our mind, and celebrating creativity. So that's what we're gonna be doing uh, on the year anniversary. I might come up with something we can do especially, but if anyone's got any, uh, stay there. If anyone's got any suggestions for ideas uh, for the um, Paint with Pete year uh, kind of birthday anniversary party, um, I have got an idea about doing Paint with Pete in the park. 
uh, on the 24th of March. We'll see what the weather's like and if I can get some chalk. You'll see that very soon. Okay, so we're going to start, uh, as always, with some tunes. Shouts to Blizzard for this beat. Just drink some water. Cheers, everyone. So, we're going to decide who we're going to draw today. So let's uh, dip into my magic hat. I've also got my pictures all here in my Keith Herring book. It's the best book to keep it in. Yeah, Seth Rogen, John Travolta, Lenny Henry, David Attenborough. Um, he can come out because we've already drawn Jonah. Thanks, Joe. First name terms, obviously. Drawing French, loads of different people. Okay, so let's do a little dippies and we'll see who we're drawing today. So, as always, I'll draw a, uh, a structure face as well, an egg head or an egg man or an egg woman from last week. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay, I've picked a name out. Wow, great choice. Today's drawing is going to be, hopefully, <laughs> Billy Connolly. So today is Billy Connolly. So you can go in the bin. I need to get my Billy Connolly pictures out. One of my favourite comedians of all time. Uh, shouts to uh, a good upbringing um, for knowing and uh, appreciating Billy Connolly. Uh, so we are going to draw Scottish comedic legend. Billy Connolly, if you don't know Bill, first name turns. If you don't know Billy Connolly, he's an absolute legend. Uh, take some time after the paint with Pete's, if you've got a bit of time, just to have a look at some Billy Connolly comedy. You will not be disappointed. Every interview he has done is hilarious. I'm hoping I've got a picture of him right now. I'm pretty sure we do. Here he is. Okay, cool. So, Mr. Billy Connolly uh, looks like this when he was younger. And looks a little bit more like this now. So I'm gonna try. <laughs> He's got such a good face. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. I can't remember who suggested it. It was a while ago. But there is our subject for this morning. He is Billy Connolly. So we're drawing a comedian. So let's channel some happy vibe, some fun vibes. Um, as always in the paint with Pete, it's all about good vibe. Putting some positivity into my day. Let's move Mr. Pencil. Okay, uh, so I need to sharpen my pencil. Oh no, I've got my Keith here in here. Let's use Keith instead. Okay, so today's Billy Connolly. I'm just going to sharpen my pencil ready for him. I'll put the pictures up on the wall in a sec. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so this, this page is our Billy Connolly page. He hasn't got any glue stuck on him. Big Bill. So I've always, uh, I try and always get a couple of different pictures to draw from, just because there's a certain thing to say about youth um, and the lack of lines in someone's face uh, that give a real kind of structure to it, but then obviously the character comes back in from those smile lines in your cheek and your eyebrows and your eyes. So Billy's are here and here and here, such a happy face. Um, absolutely love this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna pick two colors. What should we do? I'm thinking we should do a kind of Billy Connolly reference, like Scotland. Um, maybe jump there, sorry, just a cough. Uh, so I'm just going to pick two random colours out. Oh, beautiful. Uh, again, quite a lot like the colour that we made in the colour date on Tuesday. So there's my... Uh, what's this one called? I think it's burgundy. Oh, uh, red wine. Shouts to most wanted. A red wine, specific colour. Like a kind of um, cabernet. Maybe even uh, aspects of a Merlot. We haven't done this colour ever, have we? I think these two will go pretty well. So I've got this kind of burgundy and a kind of uh, peach or kind of a, a strong beige. So, Eggman time, nice and easy. We're just doing a basic structure of the face as we do every week. Uh, and then obviously I'll put that structure into Mr. Billy Connolly's face, this amazing. Aura of human. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use beige as the background. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it. Um, I will double check that. Come on. Okay, cool. Yes, guys. More neighbors. Just say hello to some neighbors. Everyone say hello to my neighbors, please. Thank you. Okay, cool. So 
Hopefully you'll be able to see this. I might have to darken it up, but um, yeah, you should be alright. Okay, so upside down egg, first and foremost. So nice and wide at the top. And then coming down a little bit more at the bottom. I just want to see if you can see that on the page. You can, good. Okay, so just, uh, just let's get that shaping a bit more. So I want a nice wide top of the head and then a nice narrow uh, bottom for our chin. This is just a guideline though. Do not worry about it if it's a bit rough. Mine is as well. That's what it's there for. So halfway. So that's our middle line. So we'll find our central line for our nose and our basic um, you know, ratio of the face. And then roughly halfway, I'm gonna go there. So, and then put an E. Just checking you can see that, yeah you can. Again, that's, it's not the nicest circle, not the neatest thing. That's why I've got a darker color for our final line. Every time uh, we go into the Eggman section of the Paint with Peas, all of my Poscas are pretending to be pencils, all right? So if you've only got pencils, please follow this. These are pretending to be pen lines, all right? Pencil lines, sorry. Uh, this is classed as light orange. I'd definitely say peach more, but anyway. Okay, halfway, and that's our nose. And then halfway, and that's our mouth. We put a circle on our nose, so we know where the point of our nose is. And then we divide the, the head into five. Roughly five, so five sections, four lines. Fill those circles in, everybody. Nice and easy. Halfway down the eyes, so put a mark where your eyes are, halfway down, and then we go all the way down. Nice and confident, boom. And then we've got our nose. So again, that, that uh, circle is the point. So we do a gentle triangle. This is just the area of the nose. And then for your mouth, the side of your mouth line up with your pupils. So we go down, down, down. Now, there's our skull or our alien face or robot face if you want. We put our ears in just to give it a little bit more human. Okay, so again, I'm going to put some markers in. So we've got eyebrows just above. You can feel that from your eye sockets. Just turn that down a sec. Um, and then we're going to put the rest of our eye sockets in here. We've got our nose creases, mouth crease, chin line, so a little... Uh, a little lump because your chin kind of comes forward. So this is a foreshortening line, another one there. And then again, that jaw. So you can see that skull coming in here. And that is our guideline, very, very simple. Morning, morning. So this beautiful, oh my goodness, I love this red. Uh, so this is a kind of, yeah, red wine color. That's the Posca description of that. Uh, so all we're doing now is adding those details. So eyes, nose and mouth, face structure, a bit of hair. I might even try and do some Billy Connolly hair just to practice. Uh, so we've got a Billy Connolly egg head and then obviously Big Bill as an actual drawing as well. So let's do eyes. I'm not, I, I keep looking at Bill because he's got such a good face. So ovals for your eyes. Okay, eyes, roughly, I'll put an extra line in there. Okay, nose, so we follow this eyebrow line and, we, and then we break and then come straight down and then obviously kick out at will. I have, I am Caucasian, I'm a white guy, so my nose is fairly uh, straight. I mean, I've, you know, broken it a few times, etc. Uh, but, so I'm gonna draw a straight nose. You can draw whatever nose you like, uh, draw yourself, put a little bit of yourself in your drawings, it will really help build that connection. Uh, obviously I draw myself quite a lot as caricatures and all that sort of stuff, so this is my go-to face. But again, please customize it at will. Doesn't have to be a, a, a white guy at all. Okay, so nostrils. I'm dark area to your nostrils. That's a rough nose, fine. Uh, and then we've got our fulcrum that leads into our, in the break of your lip. So a little open mouth, and then uh, that other eyebrow for that nose there. So 
some weird teeth. I just draw very simple uh, round teeth. You can do whatever you want. Okay, then next. So we've got our kind of jaw line. So the jaw comes in. Every line graduate in a little bit just for that face. Same on this side. So we come down for the jaw. In, in, and then down. And then where this line crosses your uh, bottom of the egghead, the chin becomes the chin. Okay, and then we put a head in. There we go. I love this colour. Okay, and then we put a bit of uh, some ears in, just again for that kind of human, a little bit more natural shape. And you're getting that kind of skull skeleton idea. Kind of looks like, uh, what's his name? I've forgotten his name. Um, from um, from iRobot, from the Asimov book and film. Okay, and then uh, nose creases. I love this color. Wow. Okay, and then again, that, that kind of a little bit of uh, detail. Eyebrows. Please come up with a name for him. I like uh, I like the fact he's drawn using a, a pen that's colour is red wine. So something to do with wine maybe. Weird eyebrows. Okay, and then obviously we can add whatever we want. So I'm going to try and do some hair. Billy Cummings got very wavy hair, so we can go super wavy on it. And then it obviously comes down here as well. Really curly. Love this guy. All right, okay. And it's just a big, massive curls. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, I dream of that hair. And again, just very roughly uh, using the kind of source technique, so finding a point and then coming straight back to the source and just filling that gap in so it looks like he's got long hair. Again, not for not concentrating on detail, whatever, whatsoever at this moment in time. We just want to get a kind of a, a full long hair. I'm going to put his uh, facial hair in so he's got sideburns as well. Like that. And he's got uh, the classic uh, probably dyed um, Billy Connolly moustache and soul patch. Okay, so there's <laughs> there's a very rough Eggman. Okay, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool. Let's split off. Okay, if someone wants to come up with a name for him, please do. Uh, it looks a bit weird. Uh, just because. Well, because of the hair, I think, more than anything. It's a very clean drawing. So, like, there's a lot of negative space, but let's uh, let's move on from there. I love this colour. Wow. Didn't even know I had that colour. Shake a shake. Straight back in the bag. Okay. So... Here we have our Eggman for now. I tried to make him a bit hairier so he kind of looked a little bit like one element of, um, of Billy Connolly, so his tash and his uh, hair and stuff. So I'm going to switch my pages over and I'm going to do 10 minutes of sketching and drawing up of uh, Mr. Billy Connolly. Uh, my main game for this one, for this uh, drawing, I think that should be around. Right is get his fun, get the fun in his eyes, in his face, try and uh, replicate that fun element. Um, he's making a very funny face in this one. That's not up yet. So I wanna try and keep that um, enjoyment and uh, that kind of fun idea there. We're gonna do with white hair. Come here, Bill. Um, so again, all the people that uh, you see in this part of the painting with Pete, certainly in the portrait day, are people I've never drawn. Uh, I've drawn the hundreds of different celebrities and people in the past, 
but I've never drawn Billy Connolly, so let's see what happens here. I have my own kind of very, very fond memories um, of, you know, driving uh, to Wales and Derbyshire and stuff, uh, listening to Billy Connolly. So I'm going to try and channel some of that enjoyment as well as try and uh, convey some of this kind of sheer fun that Billy Connolly has in his face. Uh, he's got a very drawable face, um, so let's, let's go. So I'm going to go in a little bit just because I know he's got a massive hair. So we're going to draw him a little bit smaller than unusual. I'm going to try and get it a little bit more characterful as well, okay? So, there's our egg shape. Hopefully you can see that. Maybe a bit higher, where's my rubber? Okay. So his head, much bigger. Okay, so there's the eye line, nose line, and mouth line. And then we're gonna just divide it. He's looking dead straight at us. So he's got really open eyes, really, really nice, <laughs> really happy eyes. And obviously uh, crazy eyebrows. So again, these, this pencil line is just to get the uh, rough shapes in. Just to make sure we're getting that, uh, those expressions in. The classic Billy Connolly expression. Okay. So again, in the first week we'd looked at excited eyes. Normally your eyes uh, either go up or down. With, with excited, they normally, your eyes are raised. So they sit at the bottom of your eye. Okay. Okay. And then he's got a, a fairly big nose. That's all right. I can see it's like see it in sections. And he's kind of he's really grinning, or, sm or like smirking a little bit. So his nose is kind of flat as well. Okay. I really want to do Billy Connolly justice. I love this guy, but obviously every drawing that I've never drawn is always a challenge. So again, I'm just kind of making sure, that's not right, I'm uh, just making sure that uh, I'm kind of constantly checking, constantly looking at Bill's face, and making sure that the, 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 uh, the kind of signature Bill lines, signature Billy Connolly lines, are there. Huge eyes, really nice open eyes. Good. Again, just using the uh, the second picture, he's obviously got hairier as he's grown up, grow, uh, got older, uh, grown up. Um, I don't think it, Billy Connolly will ever grow up, uh, rightly so. So yeah, okay, cool. And then he's got this <laughs> really cheeky smile that's kind of uh, locked in by his uh, face creases. And a little, uh, kind of little dimple, where he's smiling. <laughs> Such a good face. So he's got a huge moustache, huge. That kind of helps us a little bit because it covers uh, some detail in the face. But I'm going to try and recreate that. But he is smiling underneath it all. So the muscles that have the uh, change when you smile are your cheeks and obviously your jaw and your uh, and your chin. Got this amazing, maybe a bit wider on that face there. Okay. Okay, so again, just uh, just keep checking, constant checks. And that's kind of got a, a big, yeah. 
So how he's holding his mouth will change how his, uh, how his soul patch or his uh, goatee looks. That's okay. Just these little differences really help with the, the form of the drawing. Got a bigger face than that. Almost like the V for Vendetta, if you watch the, uh, the V for Vendetta sh uh, show on uh, Bonfire Night last week, uh, last week, last year, on November the 5th, um, we drew the V face. He's got a very similar moustache and uh, goatee set up, um, so there was a little, little reference in there as well. That's not there. Any kind of uh, references that your brain kind of throws at you are really good, they will always help that drawing. So eyes, back to the eyes. So just show that he's smiling. We can do the, the eye creases. Yep, okay, and he's got his big cheeks. I'm just putting those cheeks in just for a, a kind of guess line, a guideline. Yeah, cool, so his cheeks are running like that. And then down a bit further out. So again, you know, my best friend's my rubber uh, on the portrait days, just because it means you can do loads more and kind of work a bit quicker and get those kind of reactionary lines in, um, but you can edit them if you needed to as well. So you can see that on that. I'm going to come bring you closer a little bit just so you can see it. So eyes, nose, mouth, we've got eyebrows that are kind of darker but they go up and he's got this huge expressive eyebrow that kind of matches up with his uh, forehead lines but again that super expression really lends itself to the character of Bill. So he's got a, his eyebrow raised this side. So that eyebrow needs to come up rather than go round. Okay, yeah, cool, all right. Um, so again, just kind of guidelines for my pencil, just for when my pen's ready to go. Okay, bring that jaw in a little bit. It's a bit better. Okay, yep. And again, this hair, this amazing hair that just basically curls around itself constantly. Okay, so again, we've got this huge flick here. The hair kind of covers this, but then obviously this wave breaks that hair up. Again, kind of pulling in a little bit of a younger jawline. Uh, just to accentuate the Billy Conley-ness of his face. Um, you know, I've seen Billy Conley with pink and purple beards and glasses and loads of different styles. He's a very, very stylish dude. Um, and obviously he's in loads of films and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, so I'm just trying to get a little bit of that mix between what I remember Billy Conley looking like, what he looks like now, or what he looks like in this picture, certainly. Um, but also how he uh, feels at the joy in the man and how funny he can be. Um, it is officially brew time though. I'm going to keep drawing. I'm just going to do my pencil lines. We'll get the pens out in a sec. Um, well, five minutes, not a sec. We'll do it in five minutes. I just want to make sure I've got all my pencil lines in, get that hair area sorted, and hopefully you can start seeing a kind of uh, a really fun uh, Scottish comedian uh, coming out of here. <laughs> That's cool. Yep, 
He looks like Zeus a little bit. He's got big sideburns. And obviously loads more curls here as well. So what I'm doing, drawing, <clears throat> please get some uh, food, fruit or fresh, fr uh, food, fruit or fresh air, whichever you need. I realised the angle was a little bit uh, off today, but I just wanted to focus a little bit more on this guy, on uh, Mr. Billy Connolly. So a couple more minutes drawing. I'll show you what it looks like now, actually. Looks a bit dull in here. I'm sorry, it's a bit, uh, bit of an overcast day. Here's Billy so far. So there's the pencil line version of Mr. Bill. Uh, you can, his eyes and his eyebrow, and then his uh, kind of mouth, moustache, goatee, and then all of his hair going around here, all right? So let's see what happens in a minute when I've finished uh, drawing. I've still got a bit of lines to do. Yeah, here. And that uh, isn't as strong. So please draw with me. If you're not drawing with me, please get a brew and some water or some fruit, whatever you need. Okay. Uh, so, that's just nose. No, it's not like that. It's not like that. I'm talking to myself about uh, sideburns at the moment. Sorry, guys. Okay. I think that's roughly there. I think we should uh, be uh, a little bit more delicate today. So I'm gonna use a slightly thinner pen, there we go. Um, we are gonna obviously fill, I'm gonna try and keep his hair as white as I can, as white as it is, and obviously put the uh, the obsolete background thing in as well, the dirt layer. But first, we need to ink our face in. So, let's try this. Such happy eyes, it's crazy. Okay, we're going for nose, I'll do details in a sec. So again, following that eyebrow line, yep. Okay, uh, next nostril, just a little hint. Okay, I want to get the mouth in. I know it doesn't look much like him at the moment. That's more than okay. Hopefully got his uh, mouth just in there, I think. Yep, looks a bit ghosty at the moment, I know. Let's have a look. Yeah, it does, don't it? All good, absolutely fine. Uh, I'm gonna concentrate on those eyes now, so I'm gonna just go back. We've got the eyes, nose, and mouth uh, areas in. So let's add some detail. Super excited.
little mistake on these pupils, but it shouldn't affect it overall. We'll worry about that in a sec. Right, uh, okay, so eyebrows, you can leave them for a sec as well. I'll just stick that in. Okay, so his smile lines in his eyes even affects the uh, eyebrows. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I'm gonna get that eyebrow in now. Eyebrow area still looks dead weird, I know. And then let's get that other eyebrow in as well. Okay, again, just a little sketch line. Kind of looks like Scrooge at the moment, I know. We need to put some more fun in his face because he's Mr. Billy Connolly. Okay, okay, next we're going to go for the moustache and uh, goatee. To get the smile in, okay. Let's try to get some goatee lines in. Okay, Obviously it's a white goatee, or the majority is white, so I'm just going to get those uh, the kind of hairlines in, just a hint of that break, but also I need to add a little bit of uh, black and white, might even have to get the white posca out and do layers, but we'll worry about that in a bit. Um, okay. So being very gentle with my posca, just to create this kind of uh, the softer, longer, Goatee lines in the hair. Okay, so a little bit more personality in there simply from that beard. Hopefully you can start seeing him a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to get his uh, overall jaw in. There's a kind of uh, difference though, because he's kind of pushing his head back a little bit, so you're seeing a lot more neck. Um, that's all right, so we'll do that. Okay, so we'll do some sideburns first as well. Okay. Okay, and then again, he's got this really cheeky, <laughs> cheeky smile on. So I just need to hint at his cheeks. Again, as we're not really covering shading or anything in these sessions, 
it can be quite difficult to kind of uh, recreate some of that um, depth of field. But again, it's all about practice. And if it doesn't look right, it's all trial and error anyway. So we can come back to the drawing. Okay. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm gonna start on the hair, just really uh, kind of easily. Okay, and then hair, hair. He looks a bit angry, <laughs> that's all right. Them yet. Okay, so hair, let's go. Okay, again, we're gonna come back to that hair, probably with a thicker pen, to be completely honest, uh, just because there's quite a lot of it. But I do wanna get some of the basic shapes in just so I can follow it uh, later on. Can't see his ears, that's all right. Okay, let's get that shape in. Okay, a bit like an angry Jesus. <laughs> I think he would probably like that as a compliment. <laughs> right, so, so, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for a minute and slowly and gently take off uh, the pencil lines just to give me, or the pencil lines that I definitely, definitely don't need anymore. Just to give them a bit more clarity, I'm gonna put, probably put the black background in as well. Just to give us, I'm gonna do that now. Uh, just to give us a baseline for that white hair because there's white areas in the in the drawing, in the painting and in the picture. Um, I just wanna make sure that we've got a definite solid uh, outline or background for that white to be uh, promoted onto. All right, so I'm just gonna go around the hair. I know normally the, uh, the dirt layer is the last uh, thing that I do, but again, because the drawing is slightly uh, different, there isn't much, um, you know, there's a lot of white in it, so there's a lot of uh, kind of light areas in the paint, in the uh, picture. So I need, for my eye, I need to be able to tell where those areas are. One way of doing that is by giving myself a really nice, strong, uh, black background to then uh, draw off or into. Kind of looks a bit like Richard Branson a bit, doesn't it? <laughs>
Okay, he still looks a bit like Richard Branson. I don't like that um, at all, actually. Okay, so how are we going to fill that in? So there's a bit more dark areas around here as well. Just for that um, idea of hair shadow. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, okay, so there's a few uh, other dark areas in there. Let's see if uh, these guys work. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's killing me. <laughs> it's killing me. <laughs> okay, how to turn uh, <laughs> angry uh, Richard Branson Jesus into uh, Billy Connolly. Billy has a wider face. He's got a much more wider face. So how, how I'm trying to work out how I could kind of uh, falsify or synthesize that. Maybe come down a little bit more with, with that. So his face is a bit wider here. Mm -hmm. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so let's get some hair detail in just because that will change it up a little bit. We've got loads of curls. Huge wave here. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going on that hair. So I mean it's changing him a little bit. I can't get that out of my head either, Ed. Sorry, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm getting a wheel up with my pens today, so uh, sorry for the uh, pen changes. Sometimes it's very much needed. He's officially, everyone say goodbye, Mr. Posco, goodbye in the bin. So I'm going to go back in with a thin in a minute. I'm just trying to cover a couple of the dark areas in the hair. Okay, okay. I can't stop seeing Richard Branson, man. It is absolutely killing me. Um, more than okay, there's another one dead. Everyone say goodbye, Mr. Posco. Goodbye, Posco. Bye. Um, okay, so let's get some. Again, just kind of hints of that hair. It's quite there's too many lines on that side now, I think, but we'll.
hopefully a bit of that eyebrow detailing will hint a bit more towards towards uh, Billy. Yeah, brings it back a little bit, I think, with the eyebrows, just a little bit. But he's still got this kind of wider face that I could just can't uh, synthesize now. I wonder. I wonder, if I make his hair shorter, I think it's gonna look a bit more like Billy. So I'm gonna just take his hair shorter. He used to have a shorter hair. Um, so if I just do this. A little bit better, I think. I think that's a bit more Billy. Yeah, I think that's a, quite a lot more Billy actually. Let's just get these last bits in. Two seconds. Sorry, hi everybody. <laughs> uh, nobody reads the notes. I got my cast art delivery. Thank you for your patience. Let's finish Cunley. I didn't want to miss that delivery. Thank you guys. Does that look a little bit less like uh, Richard Branson? Please, someone let me know. <laughs> okay, so last bit of lines on the hair. I think, I think we're there. After an interruption, SARS. And we're done. Okay, so 
Uh, even with a bit of an interruption, apologies, thank you for sticking with me. It's a lot more Billy Wright. So, um, we did, there was a stage at one point where this was, uh, all I could see was Richard Branson. Um, this is officially Billy Conley. Big Bill. Okay, so we did our Eggman. He's right here, our red wine Eggman. Um, so, and then I drew the structure up. Uh, I tried to leave a bit of space for his hair, just around. Um, and it started looking a lot like uh, Richard Branson. But simply from a little bit of a trick, like a little trick, uh, that you can only really play when you're using pens and you're forced to do it, is this kind of uh, a little bit wider on the jawline, just to give him a bit more of a kind of happy face. And also, I cropped his hair a little bit, so his hair is a little bit more um, like a younger Billy Connolly, probably like 83, maybe 82s. But I think we've got his um, eyebrow in and his kind of funny face expression. His jawline, his cheeks, his hair, very, very roughly drawn hair, uh, mainly because uh, I've just got my re-up of Cass. So, where's he gone? There he is. Shall we see what I've got in my Cass delivery? As soon as you were here, uh, when he got here, I just want to show you what I've got. I want to say thank you to everyone in the paint repeats. Uh, I know a lot of the uh, these guys are all from you lot. Uh, so thank you very, very much. Um, I have just, if I can unstick myself, it's got a load of new Poscas for drawing with. So honestly, thank you very much to the paint repeat audience. Uh, so I've got three, three medium fats, uh, the ones I've just run out of and uh, three of the thinner guys, also that I've just run out of. So much appreciated. What else is in my little bag of tricks? Oh yes, I also have a number of canvases in here uh, that are ready to go, ready to paint. I am very excited about painting these. So again, thank you for the support recently. Um, these are for a specific request, shouts to NCK from the Dead Kings. Uh, the work will be with you very shortly, my friend. Um, and yeah, anybody else who has any sort of requests, let's move them back a bit. Please do not hesitate to give me a shout, um, whether it's ideas for drawing, ideas for celebrity to draw, celebrities to draw, or font names or colours. I want, uh, I love the interactivity of the Paint with Pete's. So if you've got an idea, we can do it together. If you want to come up with an idea, please shout me. Um, obviously, tomorrow is the gallery, so you'll see all the work from this week. So we've got uh, the doodle sheets from Monday, we've got the skulls and the colouring uh, from Tuesday, we've got some lettering work and some lettering posters from uh, Wednesday. I can now complete my, uh, my piece with my new pens, I'm excited for that. And obviously today we'll put uh, Big Bill and Egghead, uh, number 97 or whatever number he is, uh, we'll put them in frames so you can see them from flat to framed. I'll flip the camera and you'll be in my gallery. Amazing. Uh, nothing like a delivery to interrupt. I can, well, nothing like a delivery anyway. Nothing like a delivery uh, live in a in a show <laughs> to distract and confuse absolutely everyone. Thank you for joining me today, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Billy Connolly. I hope there is a little bit of a lineage to him. Um, I love this guy, so I really hope I did him justice. Um, shouts to comedy in general. If you're looking to uh, kind of get a bit out, you know, come out of yourself, out of the lockdown head. Please check some stand-up comedy out. Absolutely amazing. Billy Connolly's been doing it for 30, 40 years anyway. He's amazing. Um, he's in films and stand-up shows and stage shows and the, his Parkinson interviews are amazing. If you are into your stand-up comedy though, please check out Sounds Like, Sounds Like on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, they've got a, a show on Saturday that's all about rhyme. And they've got uh, one of England's best uh, stand-up comics, Adam Rowe, uh, and Harry Baker, who's a poet. Um, it's just going to be a really good time. So if you're looking for something to do Saturday night, check out Sounds Like. I will see you tomorrow morning in the studio, in the gallery, should I say, because it's Friday. We made it another week down, another week of work in the Paint with Peace. 
So I'll see you tomorrow in the gallery. Have a fantastic afternoon. I will see you very soon. Stay safe, stay creative. Ciao.